Hi, welcome to Blind Owl Bushcraft and Survival. Please enjoy our channel. If you would, we'd appreciate it if you join our Patreon page. It's been a long, long road. Thank you. Hi, welcome to Blind Owl Bushcraft and Survival. My name's Dan. I'm here in the Philippines on the island of a hole. Been here for 20 years, if you can believe that. I've got an 18 year old daughter in college, and I have no idea where the time went to. I just I can't figure it out. Somebody said Cleveland. I don't know if that's true or not. But, um, I think I'll do a fatwood fire for you guys. And I think I'm going to use one of my, fav my most favorite knives which is a Mora Garberg which is an absolute beautiful bushcraft knife has a hard plastic uh, handle on it that feels just like it's made out of rubber but it's hard as can be it's got all this little texturing on it got a little lanyard hole in it carbon steel Scandi grind Absolutely perfect bushcraft knife. The only knife I have comparable to comparable to it is a um, Pathfinder's Scorpion Outfitters knife, which is, has almost the identical blade on it. A little different handle, um, but this is also a very, very, very good knife too. And this was given to me by a friend of ours named John up in Minnesota. He also gave me a Mora Black, and he gave me a. a Cold steel thin wolf, which is a folding knife with scandy grind, which is very rare. Fabulous knife. And he gave me a, a tracker knife clone from YouTube. Let's see what we have here for a piece of fat wood. There's a nice dark looking piece there. Try this up here in my board, my log. I don't know if you, hope you guys can see. Let me double check that once. There you go. You should be able to see that, I would think. On this side of it here. The more Garberg is just a fantastic knife. This is a real hard piece of fat wood here. That wood does dry out after a while. It's always good, but the outside sometimes will get real hard and crusty on you. The secret is to have a very sharp knife. Mora Garberg takes a beautiful edge. It's a Scandi grind edge. But it just fits your hand so good. Take the edges off at first. There's a cat whining. Probably hears me in here, thinks I got food or something. Saw something really cool today. I was running around with my friend Don and my wife. We we're paying some bills, and Don had to go to a veterinarian's place, shop. And while we we're in there, I met a lady that had a litter of Labradors. She had a beautiful black one and a beautiful blonde, and it had three blonde ones with her, two females and a male and then a black female. Absolutely beautiful dogs. They were six weeks old, just huge, big fat things. It's probably more than enough fat with there, guys. My hands are just sticky like glue. I'm touching it. Extremely sticky. Now this piece of fat wood here, now that I just scraped here, this will start again with one or two sparks at the most. We'll put a little bit of scrapings in here with the spine of the knife. Again, 90 degrees. 
almost sharp as a rate as a as a knife blade. It's just such a pleasure to work with a nice knife. And this is the first knife that Moore made with a full tang on it. Very, very, very nice. And so much special thanks to our friend John. John's going to be coming to visit in January. He's not coming to visit us. <laughs> I can guarantee you that. But he's coming to visit his girlfriend, who is a friend of my wife, Mara Fies, that we set him up with. He's going to come to meet her. He'll, he'll see us because she only lives two miles away from us. So we'll use the spine here. It'll be very nice to see him. I've never met him. I, I met him on the internet several years ago. Talked to him thousands of times on chats, the video chats and things like that. Very, very nice guy. Outdoorsman, ex-army. Look at the size of the flames. I just instantly, instantly 10, 12 inch flames. Big enough that they're out of the picture there. Look at the size of those. That's 18 inch flames there, easy. Just out of a little handful of shavings from a piece of fatwood. But again, it's a fantastic piece of fatwood. Not like the fatwood that I got from Mexico, the pseudo fatwood, where over half the box is just regular 2x4 lumber. This is a nice brown piece from there, but it still doesn't burn like that. The dream fatwood is the fatwood that you scrape a couple times and it looks like a plug of wax. That's, that's the fancy stuff. The real fatwood. And the only fatwood I've got like that, my wonderful um, folks that watch our channel, they were so nice to send it to me. I've got fatwood from New Zealand, fatwood from Germany, fatwood from Australia, fatwood from several different places in America, North Carolina, Minnesota, Washington, where else? A bunch of different places. My dad sent me a lot of fatwood. That's, he bought his fatwood at Lowe's, so it was from Honduras, but still it was really good, really good stuff. Every, every single piece was good that he sent me. All right, well, that's it for that little fire. I want to thank everybody for coming along. And... Out here. Hashtag 22 a day no more. Let's go out and have some fun. Watch your six really close. Know what's going on all around you. Uh, be extra careful here with this election coming on. There's a good chance, according to a lot of sources that I talk to, that there's going to be some organized um, things happening with these, you know, 20 some million immigrants that weren't checked. There's terrorists, and uh, the other day they said on the news that there was over a million murderers led in the country, and I don't know how many. It sounded like like almost three times as many rapists and stuff like that and just criminals uh, those were actually fat those are actually numbers and don't quote me on the numbers but those numbers were just were put out by the Department of Justice which is very strange that they would put anything out like that before the election to make the uh, Democrats look bad but they did and uh, president or ex-president ex Trump uh, quoted the numbers on a interview the other day or at a, one of his rallies or something I can't remember where it was but so it's very 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 serious but the, the scary part is all the terrorists that have been led in the country and you know tens of thousands to millions of Chinese and people from all over the world that that are no good I guarantee a lot of those a lot of those people that came in the immigrants are fine, wonderful people, hard-working people trying to start a new life for themselves. Don't get me wrong, but there's so many that aren't. 
that are coming here for a reason. I think just to cause mayhem, if you ask me. But, I, but I, what I heard was there's going to be a lot of stuff happening if he gets elected. There's going to be all kinds of stuff, and if she gets elected, I don't know what's going to happen. But it, it's, it doesn't make. And I believe they'll be they'll be encouraging it to happen because I still swear they're trying to uh, break down the country. Is all, that's their goal. But I don't, I don't know. I guess I, all I can tell you is stuff that I hear and read and listen to. So, what, what do I know? You know, I'm, I'm an expat from Iowa, living in the Philippines for the last 20 years. But I tell you one thing, I feel much more patriotic here than I ever did back home. Back home, I took everything for granted. I took for granted all my rights. I took for granted everything. And here, I have no rights. And you know, all my privileges, like being able to own a gun, be able to go hunting and fishing. Also, I don't have that here. So, you know, God bless America, guys. Be happy that you're there. Enjoy every day of it. Enjoy every second of it. Take care. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Take care.